We're not crying. Now what in the world in this garden? You're crying. Make that ordeal worthwhile. Love is in the air, in the music and in these films. Swing, swing. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 love songs in movies. For this list, we've picked the love songs from the big screen that gave us all the feels and made for unforgettable moments. She's got secret cards, we're everything you want. To be eligible for this list, the song has to play at some point during the course of the film, not just during the credits and or on the soundtrack like Titanic's My Heart Will Go On. We're also excluding love themes from Disney movies, as well as scenes in which a character serenades another character with a song that he or she is playing or singing. Number 10, I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing by Aerosmith, Armageddon. Sometimes it takes a cataclysmic event to bring two lovers together. Grace and AJ, portrayed by Liv Tyler and Ben Affleck, share one of the film's sweetest moments as the drill operator uses an animal cracker to express his feelings for her. Because it's sweet, which to me suggests cookie, and, you know, me putting cheese on something is sort of the defining characteristic of what makes a cracker a cracker. His actions are somehow both sexy and silly as he slides the biscuit down her abdomen. And coupled with the earnest and raw emotion of Steve and Tyler's voice, the scene more than works. Now look. As the cheetah approaches, watch as he stalks his prey. The power ballad captures the themes of the film, of wanting to see all of life's moments with loved ones, no matter how small they may be. I don't wanna fall asleep cause I'd miss you, babe, and I don't wanna miss a thing. The love tune debuted at number one on Billboard Hot 100 and remains Aerosmith's biggest hit to date. Number 9, Secret Garden by Bruce Springsteen, Jerry Maguire. Go ahead, I'll meet you. Okay. It's not one moment in Jerry Maguire that makes this song stand out, but it's the song's gentle and steady presence throughout the majority of the film that makes the soft rock tune so memorable. She'll let you in her house if you come knocking late at night. Just like Bruce Springsteen's lyrics, Jerry Maguire, played by Tom Cruise, is a closed-off character that is afraid of love. But that changes as he falls in love with Dorothy Boyd, played by a vulnerable Renee Zellweger. But maybe love shouldn't be such hard work. The song first came out in 1995, but director Cameron Crowe knew it was perfect for the film once he heard it on one of Springsteen's greatest hits CDs. You had me at hello. <laughs> Due to the popularity of the film and soundtrack, the tune found itself back into the top 20 of the music charts the next year. She's got a secret card with everything you want. Seasons may change, winter to spring. Number 8, Come What May by Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor as Satine and Christian, Moulin Rouge. Come what may. The love story between Christian, a poor writer played by Ewan McGregor, and Satine, a courtesan played by Nicole Kidman, was rife with conflict from the beginning. Silly of me to think that you could fall in love with someone like me. <laughs> I can't fall in love with anyone. Satine is promised to another, making them star-crossed lovers with life and death obstacles in their way. Christian writes this emotional song for Satine, which is a sacred promise to love her for eternity. In a tear-soaked duet, the couple performs it in front of a shocked audience, creating an emotionally charged scene that viewers can't look away from. Come back to me and forgive everything. The song was deemed ineligible for an Oscar nomination since it was initially written, but not used, for Baz Luhrmann's previous film Romeo Plus Juliet. Nevertheless, it's a song that'll stick with you until your dying day.
Number seven, It Must Have Been Love by Roxette, Pretty Woman. Stay. Stay the night with me. Heartbreak has never looked so good or sounded as sweet as it does with this romantic song and scene. Touchstone Pictures asked the duo to contribute a song to the film's soundtrack. Despite the fact that it was originally written as a Christmas song and released as such in Roxette's native Sweden, we're glad they picked this one to redo and release. The new version became the mournful tune we hear when Vivian, played by young Julia Roberts, leaves Edward, played by the dashing Richard Gere. Goodbye. Beautifully acted and shot, we're able to feel the character's regrets as the heartbreaking lyrics wash over the scene. Meanwhile, the sense of longing is powerful, making viewers root even harder for the couple's reunion. Your plane is leaving as scheduled, sir. And you should be back in New York on time. Number 6, Take My Breath Away by Berlin, Top Gun. And you think I'm reckless? When I fly, I'll have you know that my crew and my plane come first. Tom Cruise's Maverick met his match when he fell in love with Charlie, the flight school instructor played by Kelly McGillis. And I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. Brash and somewhat reckless, Maverick and Charlie bumped heads throughout the movie as they fell in love. But eventually, both threw away their pride as they consummated their relationship to this breathless power ballad. which is a love theme as vivid and bold as their relationship. The film made the song a number one hit on multiple charts around the world, and won both the Academy Award and Golden Globe for Best Original Song. You can always count on Berlin to take your breath away. Watch it in slow motion as you turn around say, take my breath Number 5. Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. Ghost. What are you doing? I couldn't sleep. Perhaps one of the sexiest scenes in cinema ever. The on-screen action here would be severely lacking without the Righteous Brothers version of this song playing in the background. I need your love. Recorded by the musical duo in 1965, Unchained Melody probably wasn't playing on every radio station in 1990 when the movie came out. But thanks to the perfect pairing of the pottery-making turned steamy sex session between Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore's characters, this blue-eyed soul number saw its popularity increase once more. With the yearning of the lyrics and soaring vocals, it perfectly complements the undeniable emotional and sexual connection between the two characters. Now I had the time of my life. Number 4, I've Had the Time of My Life by Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes, Dirty Dancing. And I owe it all to you. Who hasn't tried to recreate the iconic lift from this scene? We almost didn't get to dance to this version of the song or even to this song at all, since the Lionel Richie tune was originally meant to close the film. But lucky for us, the film's choreographer, Kenny Ortega, chose this now iconic version for Baby and Johnny to dance to. I think she gets it from me. Just remember. And so at this romantic drama's end, we find the duo expressing their love through dance to the infectious vocals of Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes, which creates the jubilant feeling of love captured on screen. It's the exact opposite feeling that came with the couple's earlier split to Swayze's ballad, She's Like the Wind, which rips them apart. I'll never be sorry. She's taking my heart. Neither will I. We're glad things ended this way instead. Number 3, In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. Say anything. This was the moment etched into every teen girl's memory. John Cusack as Lloyd Dobler standing underneath Diane's window, holding the boombox above his head with the song playing. Lloyd uses the beautiful song to make the grand I want you back gesture and to remind her of their first time. Are you shaking? No. 
The scene is simple and understated, with uncertainty on Lloyd's face as he waits for Diane's response. You can almost feel his heart breaking as he waits in anticipation while we simultaneously watch how conflicted Diane is as she listens to the song while lying in bed. Peter Gabriel first released the song in 1986, but its use in this Cameron Crowe film took it to new heights, allowing it to become one of the ultimate declarations of love. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. Number two, As Time Goes By, by Dooley Wilson as Sam, Casablanca. Some of the old songs, Sam. Yes, ma'am. It's one of the most famous love themes from one of the most acclaimed movies of all time. Play it once, Sam, for all time's sake. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. Julie Wilson performs the song in Casablanca as Sam, the pianist at Rick's Café American. After Elsa, a passionate young woman played by Ingrid Bergman requests it. You must remember this, a kiss is just a kiss. Upon hearing the forbidden song, Humphrey Bogart's Rick is stunned to find his former lover in his bar. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. Originally written by Herman Hupfeld in 1931, the song takes on a deeper meaning with the scene's twist, and we're instantly swept up into the couple's love story, with lyrics as fundamental and true as a kiss is just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. It's no surprise this song has stood the test of time. There's still nobody in the world who can play as time goes by like Sam. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Raise your Number one, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston, The Bodyguard. You shouldn't be here. This romantic classic plays during the final scene in the film, during which Whitney Houston's Rachel, a high-profile pop star, is saying her final goodbyes to Kevin Costner's Frank, her bodyguard, only to stop the plane and give him one final kiss. My darling you. Their last embrace is nothing short of epic and feels like the bittersweet but appropriate ending for these two. The song starts off soft and gentle, but just like the couple's love for one another, it gets deeper and stronger as it goes on. We both know I'm not what you, you need. Houston's soaring vocals help make this one of the best-selling film soundtracks of all time, with more than 45 million records sold. The Bodyguard might have been Houston's debut role, but this musical theme on love will remain the performance of a lifetime. Do you agree with our list? Yeah, I think so. Which movie love song makes you swoon? And I hope it up to you. Oh, For more lovely top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo.